What is going on guys? We are back with more World Cup action and we got Fruit Dealer versus I don't know who this guy is, Goat Don? Did he get subbed in or something? But yeah, they're both being um this one team is pretty well known as the John aka Brofist's team. So this is um and he might have changed some sets, but the team that um I'm just gonna tell you the sets how they were in the original team. So it was uh all up pummeling Majuna with bolt beam and shift gear. It was I think Ash Greninja, I don't remember if it had spikes in the last move. Uh, just branded that I got Assault Vest. I think HP Fire Tank was because this team is a bit weak to Scissor. Scissor counters like Will with Mew. Uh, Will with Default Mew. With Softball, I don't remember the last move. Was it Ice Beam or was it. I don't remember. And the Ladi was Scarf with Trick, Default Draco, Psyshock. And yeah, he's playing versus some stall team here. He's just gonna protect Plate Safe turn 1. Uh, this looks like the team that Anti made, but it has. Two different months or one different month? Yeah, two different months. It has a Clefable. No, it actually has a few different months. Never mind. Demon Anti used had a Chansey over the Clef, had a Zapdos over the Laddie, and what was the last month again? I don't remember. I don't think it had a Celesteela. But like the the combination of those three months made me think that it was a variant of Anti's team. So the Clef is obviously going to be unaware. Heal Ball on that team uh, with Wish Pass. The Celestia is probably going to be um, Fist Death. The Latias is going to be Defog. Like the Celestia is going to be like Fist Death to help out versus Double Dance. Oh, it might be Spit Death actually because he's a bit weak to... Um, he's a bit weak to Tapple Lily. I'm not sure if he's Fist Death or Spit Death on the Steeler. But Double Dance Landris looks a bit threatening. Oh no, not Double Dance, just FD Landris. Like with, with like... Smackdown off, but Landris looks a bit threatening to him. Also, Z-Move Land looks a bit annoying, but he can play around it. Not sure if the Ladi is going to be Healing Wish. Could be, could be for sure. But it's a stall team, so you want like everything to be healthy and stuff, so it might not be... Like, I know that you heal can Healing Wish something back late game, but not necessarily... Like, you might just ha have Ladios over Ladios to have the bulk on a stall team, to switch better into, like, Keldeo... But this is an interesting take on a stall team. I think Fruit Dealers on Team Asia. I don't think they can make playoffs or next round, however it's called. And I have no no idea who his opponent even is, but I will find out when I upload this and I will put it in the thumbnail. Like you guys will see which um, team he is on. Makes a nice double into Majuna, but in the lighting, double into Tangros now. But I don't know if this accomplishes anything because he can just go into Sableye here. Because he obviously doesn't want to let this Cofable get knocked off and lose his leftovers, right? Um, I'm really hungry, so I hope they don't take five hours to finish this game. I gotta eat. <laughs> oh, is it Central versus Asia? Okay, so he's on Team Central. I think they can still make next round. I just don't know the current score. Like I said, in multiple videos, my internet is really bad and I cannot not look it up. Uh, he's obviously not staying in here. He's gonna go Mew in case he goes for Wallowis because he has synchronized and both would get burnt. And he's probably just gonna <clears throat> maybe Volt Switch if the team has that. I don't remember if it was Volt Switch, Ice Beam or Psychic. I haven't seen this team in a while. No, I don't think Canada is still in. I think Canada's out. He just Roos. <clears throat> Let me just see if there's any other game. I just don't want to miss anything. Yeah, there's just one game going on. Cool. Okay, not, not yet ma mathematically eliminated. Okay. He does go for the will and he misses. So he was trying to burn each other. Like, like he was wanted to burn himself. Thanks to, like, the magic bounce would have bounced it back to the Mew. Would have burned himself. And then the synchronized bounce the Sableye. But he keeps missing. <laughs> So yeah, he's gonna click softball. <laughs> I mean, he probably he has Hebel and the Clefable anyway. I don't know. Like this is not really a good measure for. It's like not. It's not unwinnable, but I think it's a kind of a tough matchup for this guy here, Goat Don. I don't know if his forum name is Groudon or something. He's gonna go to Clefable ASAP, knowing that this doesn't have knockoff. Unless he changes to knockoff. There's a scenario as Canada can qualify. I did not know about this. Well, 
Oh, Jake said that Anil two battles ago. Yeah, that was two hours ago, so never mind. Canada's 100% out, okay. Canada has 12 and 70 and cannot qualify, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, here's a spreadsheet with the score, but I'm scared if I click on it that my computer's gonna lag out. And I also don't don't know yet if I uh, will upload the games in in the correct order that they happened, or if they will upload them in a weird order. So I might not wanna give you guys the results if you if you don't, haven't looked up who made it next to next round, and you don't wanna be spoiled. I guess there's a reason to not click on it, but I think most people won't don't even care like they would probably want to know anyway or they would look it up themselves but like um like i said i'm going might make a video on the next round with my friends like not like a fun video you know i have some wild friends like sorry um like a prediction video if the next round comes out like one or two days after though yeah probably probably gonna make it like monday evening either monday evening or tuesday not sure yet. Um, Blunder might make one of those two, though. I don't want to feel like I copy that. I don't want to like copy it, but uh, nah, it's not only Blunder. Uh, Zamrock has done it in the past. NGMP has done it with Ricardo in the past. Oh well. Nah, it's still fine. Like everyone can give their opinion, right? My, my video is definitely gonna be a bit different than Blunder's if he makes one about welcome next round. So just go for healable, he wanted to get rid of the burn on the Sableye like ASAP. The thing is, um, the Mew is burned forever now because he doesn't have healable on his team and Frutila has healable. And he cannot do this again, he cannot burn the Sableye like again. Because if you Will-O-Wisp, a Sableye like that gets bounced back and you already burned, I think it doesn't synchronize because you already burned, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, so he's not gonna stay in here, he doesn't wanna let this get knocked off, he's just gonna go Sableye, like, yep. And he doubles up predicting that in the Megiana. But the thing is he can make a lot of plays, but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. One play that might make a difference if he has a Latios and then he gets the play correct. And he gets something tricked, so something gets crippled. That would be some way to make progress for him. Um, another way would be if he's a spec Greninja with spikes and Fruitila is scared to go Sableye and he can get up a spike. And then he can double around with a spike, put on some pressure because um, Larius is the defogger and if you play it correct and don't let it defog you can put in some pressure but it's gonna be tough to get up a spike if he spike on Gwen I don't remember just goes for protect in case he wants to double his shift gears for I mean the only reason to shift gear is so that you outspeed a doggy <laughs> they're saying how I mean I don't think all of anything of I don't think any I don't think any of these Matter. Oh, there's a Gen 3 game going on. Yeah, I'm not gonna record that if I don't have the knowledge on that. Oh, someone is gonna get subbed in for Roses versus Adam. Oh, F Roses is playing versus a sub of Adam because Adam couldn't play. Is there gonna be a tiebreaker for Team Germany? That would be fire to watch. Even though it's a bit annoying because I'm... Like, there's so many games going on, good god. Like, I obviously want to record as many games as possible from the tiebreaker and from the next round. I don't know if they would start the next round before the tiebreaker. I hope they would just wait. So I can focus recording the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. I mean, this Clef, this Clef waltz this. If he didn't change the set. I guess he's going for a freeze. Because it's Bolt Beam Focus Blast. Z Focus Blast, like... <laughs> You can just click Wish here. Now you can click Moon Blast, and if he doesn't get frozen, he's completely fine, basically. But yeah, if this would get frozen, if this would get frozen, the beginner can actually put in work a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Blinger can put in work if he plays it correct, if he gets a freeze here, but he has to run Hex, I feel. But what can you do? Like, Stall is annoying to play against. Like, I would go for the Hex too if you don't have, like, a specific... Good... Specifically, like, counter team or good matchup versus Stall. You, you kinda have to go for Hex if it's, like, a tough matchup, right? I mean, maybe this team... No, I wouldn't say this team has the best Stall matchup, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need the other guy to win. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be tough. 
But I don't know why you would ever bring a team that is that known again after people already brought it. I mean, I guess it works the, depending on what you expect your opponent to bring. <laughs> I can already see this game taking like 40 minutes. Um, Germany scores 15-15. But yeah, he keeps making the double into Magina, expecting the Sableye to come up, but like I said, I don't think it matters. Oh, US West is guaranteed a tiebreak? Are they gonna play Germany for tiebreak? Ooh. West is 15-14, yeah, I think it depends on the last game if they if they lose. I think they have to tie a break with, with Germany, maybe? I don't know if there's another 15-15 team. Oh, Mazar rooting for Poker Basket in this Gen 3 game. I guess I'll click on that real quick. Because um, he might have to win so that Team Germany can... I don't know if it would have positive effects for Team Germany or if he does that because the other guy has a fatter team. I don't know. I'm not sure how many teams there are with 15-15, like I said. If there's gonna be one team playing, or is this another team for a tiebreaker? Or if there's even more teams fighting for that? But yeah, you can't even threaten the Sableye with the Megina, because most Sableye runs some Spadev. His best move to hit the Sableye is Ice Beam or T-Bolt. I mean, he's playing it nice and everything, but I don't think it matters. Like, he's playing... Like these double switches was a stall. If you don't have anything to break stall, it doesn't really matter, right? Oh, Roses is playing in 10 to 15 minutes with many Brolic. Oh my god, I haven't eaten, dude. Stop playing games. I mean, if the stall game takes forever, I'll just put that game in the same video. <laughs> Oh, he's gone. He's timing out. I mean, he's probably just thinking if he has some win condition. Uh, I don't think he has. Like I said, he can cripple something with the Lari with trick. He needs to get up spike somehow. Oh, it's Rock's Mew. I, I remember the last move on the Mew. It's Rock's. So it's not default Mew. Did I say it's default Mew earlier? I think I said it's default Mew earlier, right? The Mew is Rock's. Soft boiled. Will o Wisp. And Psychic, okay. And Larius is Defog Draco pr Trick. Psychic. See, if I said it was Defog me earlier, that was my bad. <laughs> it's definitely not. He gets the grin on the Wisp, all good and all that, but he's just gonna protect the guy what you lock yourself into. If you stay in, you're gonna take 6% of burn, which is just like you're slowly getting worn down. So now you just lock yourself into Hydro Pump, so he's just gonna go into Lali slash Tabubulu. It does nothing, and it's Lefty's Lari. So yeah, that makes sense on a stall team. I mean, I like stall teams that don't have the same six months that than every other standard stall team. He gets a freeze, man. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't get a freeze if you're using stall. Like on top of that, like this matchup was hard enough for him. He needed to get the freeze and to like somehow get up a hazard and then double around, like I said. But he's not getting up a hazard. It's, it's not looking like it. Wait, what happened? I think they're talking about this ADV game. He went for Earthquake on a Zapdos. And the Metagross came out and lost. Uh, and went down to Earthquake, okay. Well, I don't think he could have won this matchup anyway if there's no Hex on both sides. So, if the Freeze speeds up the game, I'm gonna say I'll t we take those because I don't want the 5 hour game. <laughs> Yeah, and Fuga is voiced. I realized that earlier. I don't know if he's allowed to play in tours again. Goes hard on the doggy. He says we're taking full advantage of the freeze. 
Yeah, he's just getting up rocks. He should be taking full advantage of the freeze. So now he's just gonna click off quick. If he has sub, I don't think there's a point in setting up a sub. Unless he has toxic. But ro st Star Fox sub toxic? Earthquake, that's not a set. Now that's not a set. But okay, I just realized that Duggies is only potential Star Fox other than Clef. And Clef doesn't have rocks because it's obviously going to be Wish Protect, Heal Bell, Moon Blast. So that's really interesting because Duck Trio is not really a reliable stealth, reliable stealth Rock setter. Okay, so Rose is playing soon versus Maddie. Bro, like, I really gotta watch that if that's true. Metro versus West, I think. The butt disconnected. He said I've had enough. You're taking advantage of the free thumb. Peace out, boy. Not JK, JK, JK. <laughs> he probably just disconnected. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, yeah, he deceived. A quick picks up the Megana, and yeah, at least one month went down before this video is five hours long at 60 minutes in. <laughs> okay, so he can potentially click. If he has ground Z, he can click it here to weaken this because. He doesn't really need a duck tree for anything. Yeah, see, if he has toxic, he can click that. So they're both toxic each other. So the zygote is locked in. The zygote is locked in. I think it's banded. It's locked into toxic. So the duck tree can just spam earthquake and beats the zygote when we won. Oh my god, he's trapped in and he's locked into toxic. So I assume he predicted them to switch in the top of Bulu. Yeah, probably. Um, like I said, I don't think it mattered what play he makes. Even if he didn't get hacks, like this was like a lost, losing matchup for him. Yeah, he's forced to spam Toxic. And next to um, Earthquake is gonna take him out with the poison damage. So at least this game doesn't take forever. Would be really nice if it ends in the next 3 minutes so I can grab some food before the next game. Yeah, he's just gonna go into... Like, now is the potential turn where you can spike. In case he doesn't go Sableye. But he's probably just gonna go clever Bulu. Yeah, Bulu is the best play because it resists both of the steps. And if he has Ice Beam, that's fine because you have Grassy Terrain, you have Lefties. I think this runs Protect. Oh, it's not It's not Lefties? That's interesting. Is it Z Move? Is it Offensive Tapu Bulu on stall? Because the last Tapu Bulu, the only Tapu Bulu stall I've seen so far was the, man, the one made by Anti. And it was the Leftovers Toxic Protect Bulu with Horn Leech. And what was the last move? I forgot. It's SD, so it seems to be offensive. It doesn't have leftovers, I think it's Z-move. He didn't have Z-move on Duggy, or at least he didn't show that. And he had Toxic, so I don't think he had Z-move if he has Toxic Rocks and Earthquake. Because Screech in the last slot would be weird. So he might be pursued in the last slot for Alon Marek. Mer Alon Marek looks a bit annoying to his team. Yeah, for sure. Um, so if he's bloomed him, he can kill the Tangros. Or he can just kill something, like something's getting blown away. Tangos only has HPS, so absolutely, this is absolutely nothing. Yeah. The only way Tangos beats, if it's AV, like it doesn't really beat Bulu. Fist of Tangos is a different story. Um, but even that needs um, Sludge Bomb to beat Bulu 100% of the time, right? Because HPS, like you see, doesn't do that much and he gets the Grass Terrain back. Just click Bloom Bomb already, why are you taking so long, dude? Unless you don't have it. I mean, if you have Z Superpower, you can click that. That's a get. That's a get, that's a get, that's a get. Why can I not talk? That last sentence I said was weird. C superpower gets a kill anyway. You see Bloom Doom Bop. Goodbye. He said, he said GG. I mean it was over like ages ago. But hey, forfeits. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I pause it real quick. I'm not gonna pause it. I'm gonna end it is what I'm trying to say. Because I don't know anything about this. Like There's no point in me talking about this. Um, I will be back with the Roses game. And an extra upload. And uh, Thank you guys for watching. And if you appreciate all the World Cup content, please leave a like. And... Doc signing out and I'll see you guys next time and stay tuned for that prediction video that I might do with my friends for the next round. Goodbye. My man BTP is still up. Isn't it like 5am for him? Good. Holy fuck.